Okay, uh, let's uh, build uh, this uh, simple application that implements a to-do list where you can uh, reorder the to-do list uh, by dragging and sorting them around and reorder them any which way you want. And, uh, and this is the state is uh, saved on the server. Uh, so to get started, yeah, let's um, go and create a, um, um, an Angular application for the client side uh, of the web application. So uh, let's go under experiments and uh, in here let's uh, create a directory called, let's say, uh, to do. Uh, and in there, let's um, declare our index page that is going to hold the implementation of the Angular application. So index.html. Uh, yeah, we're going to load the various libraries that we need uh, for the styling. Uh, we're going to use um, Bootstrap, which I have locally installed on the CSS directory. Uh, there it is. And um, this is a style sheet. And then for the JavaScript libraries, uh, we're going to need uh, the, um, the uh, jQuery library, which is, I have it locally installed under a JS directory on the jQuery. Uh, although you could also use a CDN, it's actually preferable to use a CDN and, and point to uh, an online uh, location of these libraries. Improves uh, performance. jQuery UI, there it is. Uh, once we've uh, loaded these two jQuery libraries, uh, first the core library and then the, the uh, uh, user interface uh, extension library, um, then we can uh, load the, the Angular library. The Angular library will first take a look if jQuery is already loaded, and if so, it will use that as the uh, library to manipulate the DOM in the document. Um, I'm also going to load the uh, Angular um, routing library if uh, we want to be able to nav create navigation uh, between uh, various pages. So there we go. So we've loaded all the libraries, the, the JavaScript libraries, uh, Angular, and Bootstrap. Uh, we um, we then uh, are going to declare the uh, the application. So as an ng app, and we're going to call it say to do app. And uh, and this is what uh, declares the uh, the name of the application. And we're going to tie it together. Uh, with a um, with the declaration of the application in, in, in a separate JavaScript file, uh, you know, which we have to write still, um, we're going to implement the Angular application in app.js, which doesn't exist yet. Uh, and to do that, we're going to declare in a separate JavaScript file, which aptly we're going to call app.js. Uh, so in here, so we're going to declare our Angular application inside of an ify, or an immediately invoked a function expression, right? So this is a this is a, an ify uh, that um, protects the uh, the rest of the uh, the global namespace from any any declarations that we might do inside of this inside of this um, uh, function call, right? Uh, it's a very common um, pattern design pattern in uh, JavaScript programs. Anyway, so let's see. Let's uh, declare here the uh, to do app. And we're saying that uh, we're going to depend on other modules. The only module that we are declaring is the ng route module, which we loaded in here. This is the other uh, Angular module that we loaded. Uh, so there we have it. So we have declared the um, an, an, a very simple Angular application, which doesn't do much right now, but uh, we'll be adding uh, much more things as we uh, progress.